Hello everybody, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, my stomach just made a weird noise. Welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would just mean oh so much to me. And also follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. So guys, um, I did a Instagram story a very long time ago of if you guys wanted to see a a tattoo tour or a piercing tour first I'm probably gonna do both and you guys wanted to see a tattoo tour first so that's what I'm doing today um I asked you a very long time ago but then I had to get my wisdom teeth out I had my grad party I graduated all that stuff so I just now got to it and that's my bad um but yeah I have a notes thing on my phone of everything I want to cover about my tattoos um I do like know them and I know what they're about but sometimes my mind is going so fast that I forget a lot of things and then I'm editing it and I'm like damn why did I say that so with that being said I'm also gonna start this off with a um, trigger warning um, because I do talk about some very intense things like self-harm near-death experiences and just very um, heavy things in this video I know that sounds very intense for just a tattoo tour um, but I'm gonna talk about their meaning or if they don't have meaning and all that stuff great so we're gonna go from the top down cuz I'm gonna have to an angle with the camera to get my leg tattoos and I just you know that's a later problem and by later I mean in like 10 minutes um so yeah that's what we're gonna do let's get started so the first tattoo we are going to look at is my bird tattoo um this is one I just got matching with my sister it was $31 tattoo month um at this shop I go to um in October and we just went there and we were like oh let's get something matching let's just get these birds on our chest I don't know oh and something else I wanted to say really Really quick is um, I got all my ink done from this same artist. Um, his name is Joey. I'll put off his information. Um, I asked him if that was okay. Uh, he's amazing and he's just one of my great friends and I just love what he does and if I ever move um, I'm gonna force him to come with me I think because Jesus like I, I don't know who else I could ever go to. I just really like his work um, except for my first tattoo which was done from a different artist. I don't really talk to them. I don't know if they're comfortable with their information getting put out there. I'm just not gonna say who it's from but yeah I'll let you know when that comes. Yeah, first tattoo done by Joe. I walked in and yeah, I don't know. It, it doesn't have any meaning. I uh, just mean my sister wanted to get something together. Okay, so next we can talk about my flower half sleeve I have. So these are all of my family's birth flowers. So we have an aster, which is for September, which is my sister's birth month. We have some larkspurs, which is July's birth month, which is me. You know, I got a little flower for me. Um, and then we got a marigold, which is my little brother's birth month in October. And then we have some violets, which is my mom and older brother's birth flower in February. Yeah, little fam tattoo. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of this arm. I have literally no clue. Maybe if I like queeze, queeze? <laughs> Maybe if I squeeze out a couple of kids someday, maybe I'll slap them there, I don't know. And then next, the one that really just gets people going <laughs> is my half-finished video game sleeve. Real quick, I know some older people, it's always the oldies, man. They're like, why are you getting all these things? Like, are you gonna want Zelda on you when you're 80? First of all, I'm not gonna give a fuck what I look like when I'm 80. <laughs> and second of all, I've been playing video games since I was five. And when I say video games, I've been playing Nintendo games since I was five. It's been a huge part of my life. I still to this day am a huge gamer. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's a part of my life and I'm never gonna look at this and be like, oh, I hate Pokemon now. Cause like I've never hated Pokemon in my life. So with that being said, I don't give a fuck and let's talk about it. So I got all my favorite games from my childhood. Um, I obviously have some favorite newer games, but like, you know, the ones that have stuck with me for the past decade. So we have Wind Waker, my favorite Zelda game, obviously. So we just have Link and Zelda. Zelda. This is actually a picture. I have a poster for it. It's not up right now, but um, I just always love the poster So I got it as a tattoo and then we have Pokemon down here So I have the starters of Pokemon Coliseum, which is Espeon and Umbreon and Pokemon Coliseum is an elite game It is amazing and it's my first Pokemon game I've ever played and I've always loved it So uh, yeah, and then I also got my favorite Pokemon, which is Blaziken. What's up girl? When I played fucking Pokemon when I was younger not even that much younger in high school. I had a Blaziken and I named her Flamin' Hot 
Hot Cheeto. Yeah, that's it. And then I have a half finished Paper Mario. Um, there's Mario right there. I'm supposed to get Peach and Bowser, um, but then the pandemic hit and I lost my job. Uh, so I stopped, I, I haven't finished it yet. So this is still a work in progress. Um, I'm also getting Kirby and Animal Crossing on here. Yeah, there's a little Mario, Paper Mario, Paper Mario 64. That was my first ever video game I've ever played. And then on my wrist, I have player three and a Nintendo 64 controller, which is another sibling tattoo. Can't you tell I love my family? They're like my biggest support system. My two older siblings have yet to get it. Um, they are actually probably gonna get it this summer. And then my younger brother can't get it because they are 11. But our sibling tattoo is me and my siblings, the one thing we all have in common, even though we do have almost like everything in common, is that we play video games. Like every single one of us, we love gaming. We would play games together, especially me and my two older siblings siblings um, because we were all closer in age. So I thought it'd be cute if like, you know, there's usually you can have four players in a game and there's four of us. So we did it. So we decided to do it and like, like it's a gaming thing, you know, it was actually my idea and they were like, okay. So um, we got the Nintendo controller from the year we were born um, or the console that was out. So for me and my older brother, it's the N64 controller and his is going to say player two. My older sister is going to have the SNES controller the SNES controller and it's gonna say player one because she's the oldest and then my younger brother when he can get tattoos is going to get a Wii remote and it's gonna say player four um but yeah just another sibling tattoo so then next is my sternum tattoo which this is when things start getting heavy literally every single thing from the boobs down is heavy um so we have the hams at hand which by definition is um universal sign of protection power and strength so I got this because I've always or jewelry with this symbol on it um and it's kind of just like a me tattoo you know it's kind of like something that's dedicated to me um because i've been through some pretty extreme things in the past um and going through those things has definitely made me stronger more powerful and i've spent a lot of the time you know protecting myself and taking care of myself through those times so i wanted to get this on me so i got it as a sternum tattoo it's definitely one of my favorites um surprisingly not my most painful tattoo it was very bad right here like this little area but everything else is pretty fine so um because i know everybody like kind of freaks out about sternum tattoos so now i'm gonna have to adjust my camera and lower it so we can look at my leg tattoos so let's do that all right cool we can lower it this much so you guys can see my little stinky thigh tattoo all right so this is my first tattoo ever so this isn't done by joe first tattoo i ever got when i was 16. i have inspiration from this youtuber i watched all the time when i was in like middle school and high school Morgan Joyce. I'll put her picture here. She's amazing and I love her and she's so beautiful and she's my mom and I could look at her forever. But anyways, so she has a tattoo pretty much exactly like this. Very similar. Mine just has like a different design to it. It is a tattoo over my self-harm scars Um, because I used to self-harm a lot when I was younger and I had some pretty bad scars, especially on this leg. Not really too bad on this leg and I wanted to get it covered up like ASAP Um, because I think I, yeah, I stopped self-harming when I was 15. I wasn't allowed to get tattooed until I was 16. Um, so I got my mom's handwriting over them and it says my little star, my light, beautiful rose, and then some roses. And what I really like about what this artist did was he definitely used darker ink to his advantage to cover up some like really bad ones. Like he put a lot of black up here, over here. And I'm just really thankful for this tattoo. And I think it was a really good first tattoo to get. That's my first tattoo I've ever gotten. And now we gotta lower this bitch more to get to my calf tattoos, which is actually the most painful tattoo I have ever gotten in my entire life that it screwed me up. I, I had to do it in multiple sessions because um, I was crying. <laughs> this is probably my most meaningful tattoo to date. Um, um, I can make a story time about this whole experience because it's clearly just way too much to talk about. When I was seven or eight years old, I kind of blocked it out, honestly. Um, my family had a house fire in the middle of the night. We would have been dead without these two cats. Uh, this is Duchess and this is Duke. Duke and Duchess, they woke my mom up in the middle of the night um, because they smelled smoke and they were freaking out. And my mom, the first time they woke her up, just kind of like shooed them off because she didn't know what was happening. Then they 
got her up again and then she finally got up and got the rest of us up. I'm gonna move back up here. Yeah, that was a really intense experience and I got them because I legitimately would be dead without them. Like I would not exist right now without them. Um, my mom had a hard time getting me up that night. I almost died from smoke inhalation, um, asphyxia asphyxiation, it's hard to pronounce. Um, my mom spent like 30 minutes trying to get me up and then I did. Uh, the fire did start right in me and my sister's room. It was just so intense. I don't know, there's so much I can talk about with that experience. So again, if you wanna know more about it, um, if you've been through a similar thing and you wanna hear my experience, I can talk about it. But I definitely knew, as soon as I started getting into tattoos when I was like in middle school, I couldn't get them yet, but I was really interested in them. I was like, I wanna get something for Duke and Duchess because like they literally saved my life, you know? So that tattoo means so much to me. I do have a lot of people um, coming up to me and they'll be like, oh, like crazy cat lady, you got your cat's tattooed on you. And I'll be like, listen, <laughs> I, I I see like you you think it's funny and you don't really understand, um, but like, please stop. <laughs> Um, so yeah, those are all my tattoos. Definitely, like I said, the most painful one was my calf tattoo. I wasn't expecting it, um, but that was terrible. Arm tattoos are fine, chest tattoo is fine. Every other tattoo is fine. I'm pretty good with dealing with tattoo pain. But yeah, if you guys want me to talk any more about my tattoos, if you even have suggestions of what else to get on me, I love hearing suggestions. A lot of my ideas I've gotten were actually from like people shooting the shit and saying stuff like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you got that? And I'm like, damn, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it got kind of deep. Yeah, my tattoos mean a lot to me. I hope you guys like them. And I will see you next week with another video. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. I will see you guys then. You stay out of trouble now. Bye. <laughs>